Hi guys, welcome back to Code Switch. Keeping versions of any kind is a good coding and programming practice. What if if we can easily version our applications and class libraries created in .NET Core using Express versioning? With Express versioning, you can define the templates, you can manually version it, or you can automatically version it with the help of Visual Studio. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to install Express versioning V2. So if you do not have this setup, I will add the link in the description. So click on next. So this is the location. Click on next. And this is optional actually. You can enable it or disable it. Click on next and install it. So now we have successfully installed the Express versioning. Now let's create a new project. So I'm opening Visual Studio. Now let's create a new project. As you can see, uh, I'm selecting uh, a console application for now, just for demo purpose. And in my desktop, you can see a uh, demo folder. This is where I'm going to dump uh, my file. So just copy the name uh, of the file, uh, file location and just paste it over here slash uh, demo. And let's uh, change the name of the project name to demo for now. Click on next and the version .NET 6 preview that's fine click on next and now it takes some time Visual Studio automatically generates uh, scaffold the code for us so let's wait all right now the project is running and you can see it is printed out hello world this is what we are expecting so right now we have a project in .NET Core and we have Express versioning installed. Two things are done. Now the third thing that we need to do is to configure the Express versioning. So here you can look at the project name. It is called Demo, capital D, Demo. So what we need to do is go to your uh, install location of the Express versioning. So I'm going to my computer and I'm going to uh, C drive. And here on the program files, you can find the folder for express versioning so i think yeah over here go open the express versioning folder and this is the install location of the express versioning here you can find the executables and a uh, few settings files so let's uh, see if uh, express version is properly installed so open a command prompt over here and just type in ev stands for express versioning and just hit enter all right so here if you look at here uh, it is actually printing out data from the uh, console output from the express versioning so it's properly installed just close it okay now let's open this settings.json file so this is where we configure the express versioning now here you can see uh, we have a list of projects over here and you can see a enable versioning identifier file and scheme so now here in the identifier we need to put our exact project name we should not include any spaces so uh, uh, so right now our project name is uh, demo so i'm just copied on the demo and now we need the file location of this cs project file not the solution file the cs project file so just right click copy full path and go back to the notepad and just change the file of uh, to the cs project file that we just copied now here since it's a json file we need to escape the slashes i'm just putting out the slashes all right so now we have set up the slashes and here now the third thing that we need to configure is a scheme so scheme i will explain later so right now let's put it scheme major one minor two patch three and revision four so it's just a static versioning one two three four one dot two dot three dot four now just save this file just uh, we can write a code on this in order to get the assembly okay so that our program can display uh, the version so let's name it uh, var assembly equal to, uh, assembly let's resolve this from uh, reflection system dot reflection okay get executing assembly it's called uh, get executing assembly all right so now we got the assembly now we need to read the file version from this assembly so let's uh, create a um, um, variable to catch up the file version so i'm naming it uh, var v equals file version info 
file version info this is actually coming from the uh, uh, diagnosis class namespace so system dot diagnosis dot uh, get version info and we can pass the uh, location of the assembly and from that we can get the file version okay now now that we can we got the file version so let's uh, try to print out the file version that we got so console dot write line b so that is our version all right now let's try to start the application so what it does is it actually prints out the current version of this application as you can see it is 1.0.0.0 this is because we have not changed the version we just configured everything and we have not changed so now let's open a command prompt so let's type in ev dot hyphen info so that we can get all this project that we configured over there now let's version this so in order to version what we need to type is ev dot hyphen p stands for project and the name of the project that is demo and put enter so now if, if you look at this the old version was 1.0.0 and we have a scheme that is 1.2.3.4 and now the new version is now 1.2.3.4 so now it says that it successfully modified now let's try to run this program again all right now look it is 1.2.3.4 so now the version is actually modified now how to make this version dynamic or how to make it schema so what we can do is we can uh, just type in ev and we will get a different different schemes so if you put uh, hs inside braces it will replace by the hours in 12 hours capital hs for 24 minutes seconds am pm year two digits month two digits day of the year day of the month week number etc so let's go to our settings file and let's change the major to uh, power hs and the minor to minutes and the patch to seconds and let's make the revision to seconds as well so revision or uh, or just make it zero so if you do not want to template it you can just put the actual numeric value over there so now let's open the command prompt and let's type in ev dot hyphen info so hyphen info is actually in order to get the details from the json file so demo we have so minus p demo and there we go so our old version was 1.2.3.4 and our new scheme is hour, minute, second and then a zero and our new version is this. So let's try to uh, run the command again. So I'm uh, writing ev minus p demo and if you look that is 16.49 is now changed to 17.04. This is because the version is now dynamic based on the hour, minute and seconds. So now let's try to start the project and see whether we can see the change over here. All right. Now, if you look at this, the version of the uh, file, uh, this application has been changed. Okay. Now, how to make this dynamic? So, just go to the properties of the files. Now, let's verify uh, if it is changed on the CS project file as well. So, here you can search for file version. So, I'm typing file version. All right. So, look look at here. Here also, it is actually changed. Now let's make it uh, automatic so for that you need to open the post script okay so just type in sorry uh, you need to write open the pre pre script okay pre build scripts so let's type in pre build script so pre build scripts execute before uh, the the build happens okay so before the build happens we need to version it or you can put it on the post build if you want so what we are going to do is ev hyphen p then this project name we are putting as a macro so this will replace runtime on the runtime visual studio will automatically replace it you can either put ev minus p demo so for uh, this is actually better i think so even if our project name changes later it will automatically change so ev minus p project name. so this will run before the build happens so actually versioning you can put it after the uh, build that is post build script now let's save this and just run the project now if you run the project uh, you can see uh, the file name is now 17.0.4 right 17.0.4 now let's close this and try to run it again so it should change right yeah see so now the, the it is not actually changed that is because in order to change it we need to have any change on our code so this is an actually expected behavior so I am changing the code and trying to run it again 
so if any change happens then only the it will uh, ask to change the version so now you can see that is now 17.04 is now changed to 18.58 so this is how it automatically update the version based on the schema you specified now if you look at here uh, this is actually a single project now if you have multiple projects what you can do is you can just copy down this section put a comma and you can put down the another one and here you can specify the CS project for the another uh, project and you can change the identifier now once you've done that you can just type in ev-info and you can see all these two projects and based on this you can uh, type the ev-p to version it thank you